It's National Agriculture Month, and as you know, farming plays a huge role in Pennsylvania, leading to nearly $84 billion in direct economic impact. Today, Megan Majinski takes us to Hullabaugh Brothers Farm in Adams County to learn what they're doing now to make sure you have local food to eat in the future. It's officially springtime, which means it's planting season on central Pennsylvania farms. You can see these workers here behind me. They are tamping pear trees into the ground. They were just dropped into the ground yesterday, and now they're making sure that they're stable and ready to go. We are totally at the mercy of Mother Nature right now. A mild winter isn't a great thing for fruit growers. These trees, as soon as they feel the earth start to warm, they start to wake up out of that dormant phase that they're in in the winter. Ellie Branage is a third generation farmer at Hollowbow Brothers Farm in Adams County. This year, they're treating the trees to prevent frost and disease. We're going to be on high alert, you know, watching those overnight lows. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot we can do about it. While the farmers are busy planting, grocers are getting ready to set up locally grown items in stores. Hollowbow is a key provider for us in our store year round. Parnes Food stocks hundreds of locally grown and made goods marked by these labels. A strong economy is better for us as a store and it's better for everyone that lives within the within the community. Branich says we see the importance of shopping local when dealing with supply chain issues. It's easier for local growers to get their products to the consumer. So many businesses that support what we do are located right here within our county. We've been able to control, you know, our own trucking of our fruit such that we've been able to be a reliable supplier to customers like Carnes. Plus, she says consumer demand for local products is up. There is something to be said for the security in knowing where your food comes from and that it's produced by people you trust on farmland that you can see when you drive to and from work. You can head to the farm and actually see the trees and the ground that our fruits and veggies are grown from. In Adams County, Megan Majenski, CBS 21 News.